Hi guys, it's Big Al and welcome back to Big Al Sports World. And we're back again with the non-league to Premier League save with Kirsten Ashton. And we're still in the Vanarama National League North. Can't get my words out today. So as you can see, we've already played seven games this season. We're in the playoff spots. Uh, we are currently sitting fifth with 13 points on the board. Not so good. We've had two defeats, four wins and a draw. So let's just show you our little schedule. You guys were with us for the thump and we received in the opening day of the season against Salford. Well, as you can see, we then went on a lovely four game on Britain run. So we beat Geisley 2-0. We then drew one each with ASC Telford. With Steve Harris coming on and getting a late goal for us, 67th minute after they had taken the lead. We then beat Chorley 1 0. Ashley Chambers, the man who stepped up and gave us that early goal, which we managed to see out. We then beat Hensford by two goals to one. David Dorff and Yorley on the score sheet, and then they scored a very late penalty. Our young 18 year old Greek centre back absolutely piled into this into this strike. He was going nowhere. We had him covered but he just piled into him. We then suffered a terrible performance. Absolutely atrocious performance against Tamworth. They came out and spanked us 3-1 and to be fair they deserved it. We were awful. But a few days later we got a revenge on Workington and we took it out on them and we beat them 3-1. I was Jack Payne and a nice brace for Jordy. Jack ran with a late goal for Workington to pull it back but it was only really a constellation. And as you can see there's only a two day gap between the game between Working and Hitchison. Hitchin even. So today's a totally different team and this is we've also changed formation since that first day of the defeat that we received because of the players we got this team we do have wingers here but I'm going to change the training for them after the game to train them both the wingers to become uh, Mazzellis and Carleros because we're playing this new formation it's been working really really well and I don't want to change it now so in goals we have Wolston who's replaced Rosario because Rosario's been Shocking this season. Every time he's played, he's conceded two to three goals. He's just been awful. So Wilson comes in the goals because he's playing out of like his life depends on it. Across the back is a completely changed back four from the last leg, with the exception of the last game. Arden, Nielsen, and Healing they retain their centre back spots because my young Greeks on international duty. Chuck's not fit, so really I don't have many much more options. But Miller comes in the right back. A two comes in the left back. The midfield totally changes in the middle. We've got Andrews, Kenny and Noon playing across the middle. Boyle replaces Harris in the attacking midfield. Jordy retains his spot with Tony Gomez up front. On the bench we got Yaboa, Bardsley, Raquel Pike who has done nothing this season. Hardly anything at all. So he's on the bench with Batty and Penny trying to keep everyone happy we're having to rotate the squad it kind of helps that we've got a really big strong squad uh, we already already accidentally clicked on so that's why we're ready at this point as you see they're playing 4-4-2 um, we have a really big squad a lot of centre midfielders so in theory to keep everyone happy this works quite well because we can play if we've got two games like this really close it really works out well because we can play a completely different team between the two games and uh maybe get a few points. Ignore the kits, I was playing around with designing my own kits but I seem to have got the back on the front and the front on the back so that'll be changed um, back to default probably before the next recording possibly I just need to remember where I put it to delete it out of it and get it back to the default one so it's all fun, it's all fun, I was just playing around because I was sick of the all the horrible blue kit that they had, I changed it to nicer blue. But the back, the 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 front should be the back, and the back should be the front. So it kind of messes it all up. But it was all right. It'll do for now. A ah, beautiful ball for Tony Gomez. Can he get the cross in? He holds it up nicely. Noon comes in. Oh, great challenge, Kenny Andrews. Oh, big save by the hitching goalkeeper. And I'm liking this new style of play. We play very possessive football. Kenny with a corner. Nobody there. Noon picks it up. Noon. Well, oh, well, wide by Noon. Yeah, we play a lot of really passing triangle football. Really, really liking it. Granted, like, I mean, we don't always defend very well, which 
what I've never done from day one since I came here. So there's not much difference in the defense, even though we got a slightly better defense, you could say. This season than what we've had, we've, like I mean, we do have cover now at centre back. We got chalk. We got uh, the Greek. I can't even remember how to pronounce his name. Stomper Populus. We got Nielsen. We got Healing. He's also a youngster from our youth academy. So we got quite a few. Chalk and Healing are both youngsters. Uh, we do have the other one from last season who played centre back. The other Harbert, but he's in the under twenty three. So we still have him if the worst comes to the worst. So we don't have, it's not as if we don't have centre backs, we do have them. But Nielsen's played really well in the last game. He was dropped for a game because he played awful. Ignore my phone beeping. Um, it shouldn't be. I should have it on uh, silent while I'm recording. Uh, what else was I going to say there? So yeah, it's been a really interesting game this season this season. Obviously Jordy's already on fit, so we'll just bring Pike on for Jordy freshen it up for the second half Raquel Pike might get the hint that he needs to actually improve I do is now like more like a third choice for left back these days because you got Penny and you got Campbell and Campbell's playing outstanding Penny's been pretty good as well so you know and it's like Andrews he's a, Andrews and Kenny are on, also just backups now and Gomez are a lovely strike so we have loads of choices loads of backup players it's hard to get them all in, like Barry hasn't started, I don't think Barry, Barry started the last game, but his fitness is still 100%, <laughs> it's crazy, and Hitchin had a nice effort there, we've had two shots, Any clear, no clear cut chances, we've had all the two on target, five shots, they've only had three shots, none on target, which is pretty good, but nil nil come into half time, I would have liked to have taken the lead, because we're playing before everybody else, I, that's why we're up the third in the table there, you know we need to put pressure keep pressure on the teams above us so let's tell them we got a point to prove let's make that change let's give uh Jordy a nice rest i really should rename him to be Jordy. bring raquel pike on and let him and him and gomez have a really good partnership already so hopefully that can continue i'm actually going to change him back to what he likes to be which is a target man pike seems to find him in the air hopefully he will in the second half. If Kerry doesn't start improving, Barry can drop into there. If Boyles isn't playing well, we got Yaboa and we got Penny and Barzi go anywhere across the back. But the back line and that they're all looking okay. Kerry just needs to improve a little. He do he wants to leave anyway, Kenny. He's on the transfer list by request. He's unhappy, so he but if he can play well, you know, he might decide to stay. Who knows? Because he played really well last season, so hopefully he will stay this season, but we'll see what happens. And Richardson clears it, and here come Hitchin now to drag the centre back to the position. A do's there, but he doesn't get there. But Walsham with a good save. That was pretty lucky. Hitchin first time on target, straight after half time. We seem to be really bad straight after half time. Demand a bit more here, lads. Healing with the header out. Raquel Pike heads it on, but nobody else there. We'll give it uh, like the 65th minute, and if Kenny hasn't improved, we'll take Kenny off and bring on young young Batty, who can who can hit them from distance as well. Not much happening. Substitutions and hitting her in again. Wilson's out of his box again. He scares me every time he comes out, man. But he comes out, he headers it and everything. He's not even playing sweeper keeper either. He's playing just as a, as a keeper. Moon. Gomez. Out wide to Mellar. Moon. Boyle. Andrews. Pike. <sighs> this is my problem with Raquel Pike. He's not having a very great couple of seasons. Since his loan move became permanent, Raquel Pike has not been the same person. Oh, he did get that injury straight after getting thing. It hasn't been the same since then. I think we're going to make that change, you know, in the middle of the park. Let's take Kenny off. Let's get young Batty in the picture. Look at that. Like for like changes. That's what we like to see. And let's see if we can improve... On this, not a lot happening. 
not a lot at all. Let's change us to a bit of attacking now. 15 minutes left in the clock. We need a goal. Come on, boys. Demand more. Boil. Free kick. It's got to be a yellow card. Yeah, shouldn't send him off. I thought he would just book him. But like to say, I thought he was going for the red card there for a second. Boy with a free kick. What will he do? He whips it in towards Pike. Gomez! What a volley! That's what I'm talking about. The Pike Gomez combination. And Tony Gomez with a thumping volley. I'm not sure it was volley. Boy with a free kick in. Pike with a nod down. It is the volley. Left footed Tony Gomez. Him and Pike have some partnership up front. That does me nicely. Free kick to Hitchin though. Dangerous over the bar, well wide. Or well high and wide. That's perfect for us. Raquel Pike is on the ball again. Finds Boyle. Boyle finds Batty. Batty off. Oh. Gomez was outside. Gomez again. Pike is in a mistake. A big save by the keeper. Wasted chance by Gomez. Should have been 2 0 right there. Game set and match. Raquel Pike nods it straight back in. The danger zone. And oh. McGrory blocked it, and I believe it was the centre back. Andrews pumping ball in towards Gomez, can't get down. Noon, oh, blasted off the defender. Noon can play right wide. Andrews, first hand cross, Raquel Pike. Oh, can't get there, intercepted, and it goes for a corner. Can the Nash keep the pressure on? 10 minutes left of this game. Batty with the cross, easy clearance. He's going to go for a throw, and that'll be the end of the highlight. Very, very good play by the Nash here. Healing. Noon. First time ball. Raquel Pike nods it down for himself, but Kettings is there. And he throws it out. Vent. Counter attack by them. Mellor's there. Can Noon get on the end of it? Yes, he can. Noon looks for Gomez. Gomez is never going to get there. Relson plays it back. Ketting thumps it out. Should be the centre back. It is. Nielsen is there. Towards Gomez, can't get there. Easy for Batty. Into Andrews. The ball. Raquel Pike. Raquel Pike. Oh, and Kevin makes another big save. And then Ash pumping the pressure on Batty with a corner. Can we get on the end of this one? No, we cannot. But Noon does. Noon back in the Andrews. Back to Batty. Batty whips it in. Oh, can't get on the end of it. Miller finds Boyle. Boyle, will he go back? He does. Miller will pump it in the batty. Batty, he's found Gomez, he's free. Gomez! Yes, it is! It's 2 0. Tony Gomez gets his second goal. Beautiful ball in by Batty. And Tony Gomez is the club's top goal scorer this season. He's on five now. Miller gets it in the batty. Batty looks up. Look at that gap between them. The centre back left, Tony Gomez. One thing you don't want to do. And he just buries it into the back end. That keeper should have done better. But we will take the three points from this game today. It's a Nash 2. And we'll just. Oh, wrong option, Aaron. We'll just drop it back. To standard for the remainder part of this game. Miller, go beautiful control by Gomez, but he gets tackled. Nielsen will pick that up with ease. He finds a do. A do pumps it in. Gomez is there, but he can't get on the end of it. And Barbara Shaw will bring it out to Melhu. I mean, who? He finds. Oh my god, he got away from Nielsen. What's done with a big save? Can we get challenges in? Oh, what a challenge by Andrews or Nielsen, one of the two uh, Boo can't get there, was Nielsen and he buries out of play, maybe I should left it on attack, four minutes left, maybe I should left it on attack and we don't look so secure boys, little bit of a concentration required, Andrews gets a challenge in, wins the ball back, beautiful by Andrews, he's fine Raquel Pike, counter attack on from the Nash, he's got players running forward, Noon, Noon finds Gomez, hat trick! Oh no, Kettings with the big save again. And it could have been his hat trick, he should have had his hat trick. Tell him a little bit of concentrate, 10 seconds left. Boy whips it in. Clearance, that should be it, ref, that should be it. Blew it up, oh what a challenge by Batty. And then Nash come out with a 2 0 victory over Hitchin. And Gomez with 9.0. Beautiful, puts pressure on everyone around us now to get results in the next games. The Nash 2, Hitchin 1, absolutely fantastic. 
The boys were amazing. And that was not even my first choice team. That was my second straight team that I would be picking. My first straight team would have Jordy up front with David off. And a totally different midfield with Pi and everyone else. So you guys got to see pretty much the reserves playing. They've done fantastic. A nice 2-0 victory. And I'm happy with that. That's beautiful taking us in. Up in the third in the table. Hopefully results go our way. And we can sit in the top four, maybe five afterwards. Well guys, if you've enjoyed this one. Hit the thumbs up like button. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And any comments you wish to leave them in the comment section. I do my best to respond to everyone. And I will try my best. Alright guys, take it easy. All the best.